So, uh, as we continue, Jehovah, please bless our children. Why do we say bless our children? Because while we are also blessing them, we want the power of God to reign over them, to control them, to guide them, so that they will be able to enjoy the fruit and all of the things that they need to do. And in the case, we see Jacob was someone who had the fear of God. And so for him to even make a vow, because he said, wow, this is awesome. This is play. This, this thing, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. You know. And so uh, we know he was excited. That's why he made uh, the vow. And so it is important and it's helpful. And so uh, when parents, fathers in this case, bless their children it is because they are standing in the authority of God's word and we know what God's word has said about uh, blessing you know while we bless other people a pastor blesses the church blesses uh, the congregation blesses people left and right and everywhere and then we also are blessed people will see and uh, we know we say God bless you here and there which is fine which is great which is uh, right so anytime we are saying uh, God bless you we are putting the name of God on people and so that is uh, wonderful so Let's try to get some qualifications as to how, uh, you know, children can receive these uh, blessings. Uh, first, we see in the epistle or God's word, we have so many places uh, where God is admonishing and commanding uh, children as to what to do when it comes to uh, receiving blessings. And so... Here we go straight to uh, Colossians 3.20 says, Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well pleasing unto the Lord. Right? So we can see that in Jacob, he obeyed. He obeyed uh, Isaac and followed what uh, he said and uh, went straight to where he was sent. And we also know that the fifth commandment uh, tells us uh, the same thing that, you know, and uh, while sometimes we want to, you know, do something different, God's word commands uh, children what to do so that they can receive the blessings because the blessings of God are already uh, available to all of them and it is important. So, uh, in uh, uh, Ephesians, rather, Ephesians 6, 1, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. All right? So, and when it says right, it's not just right. This is uh, uh, what will allow you to enjoy the blessings. And when we see uh, what God says, in the, verse 2 says, Honor thy father and thy mother which is the first commandment with promise or with a promise. And so in the Old Testament, we know that while, of course, uh, in the time of uh, Jacob, the Ten Commandments had not been written. But then we know that when, uh, you know, Jacob was traveling, he went to Padan uh, Aram, he had that uh, honor that he gave to his father, by leaving the place where he was and uh, going to where his father sent him. His father said, go to, you know, uh, Padan, Aram, Padan Aram. And he went there. He didn't go to, like, some people. They said, oh, like, go to New York. Then they are going into New York and they branch into, well, maybe I'll go to New Hampshire. Maybe I'll go to New, New Jersey. The, the instruction, the commandment was that go to this specific place. So that was a command, and he went, and he was on track. He was uh, going in that direction, and as he went, that's when uh, he got to a place where he dreamt, he slept, and saw, you know, basically 
God, uh, he saw the angels and which was, you know, so if he was able to tell his children while he was blessing them that the blessings of your father and the, my, the blessings that I receive is more than the, uh, the blessings of uh, Isaac, you know, then he's right. Because Isaac didn't see, you know, Isaac was blessed, all right, but he didn't see angels going up and down. He didn't, he didn't see all the things that uh, Jacob uh, saw. So uh, we can see that uh, what he said, and he was speaking on the authority of God's word, and that meant that uh, he was uh, really enjoying the, uh, the blessing. So it is important for us to bless our children because we are giving them blessing. We are giving them protection. We are giving them life. We are giving them resources so that uh, as they grow up, they will become better. They will uh, grow to enjoy more blessings. And I think uh, I remember I've said uh, to our children that, you know, I want them to be better. I want them to uh, enjoy better things and uh, that they would grow up with better blessings than I have. So uh, this is uh, great. So again, uh, honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. And I think we've said it before that when they say honor, it doesn't mean that honor just your father and don't honor your mother or just honor, uh, vice versa, honor just your mother and you leave your father aside. Remember, God's commandment is that the father, he is the one who is going to proclaim the blessing. And in this case, uh, Jacob proclaimed the blessing upon his uh, children. And so uh, we have to remember that. All right, more blessings. Where do we get more blessings? Uh, let us see. Um, Deuteronomy 6, 1 to 9. Brother Samuel, please read. Deuteronomy 6, 1 to 9. And let us here to uh, stand to hear. Deuteronomy 6, 1 to 9. And let's pay attention to what... God's word is saying. Deuteronomy chapter 6, reading from verse 1 to 9. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 1. Now this is the commandment, and these are the statements, the status and judgment which the Lord your God has commanded to teach you, that you may observe them in the land which you are crossing over to possess. 2 that you may fear the Lord your God to keep all his status and his commandments which I command you. And you and your sons and your grandsons and all the, all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. 3. Therefore hear, O Israel, and be careful to observe it, that it may be well with you, and that you may multiply greatly as the Lord God of your fathers has promised you. A land flowing with milk and honey. For hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Says, and these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. Seven, you shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down. When you rise up, you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as a frontlet between your eyes. Nine, you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. Amen. Amen. Let's read Mark 10 13 to 16 before, so that I will, I will put it all together, so that I won't stand up and sit and stand. Mark chapter 10. 13 to 16. Reading from verse 13 to 16. Mark chapter 10, the verse 13. Then they brought little children to him, that he might touch them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. 14. But when Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased and said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. All right. So we may be seated. So back to uh, <coughs> Deuteronomy, we see that God commanded the Israelites, the parents, the fathers, 
And when he called them uh, to the responsibility of obeying him, he also enjoined them that these commandments that I'm giving to you, you know, it's not just for you. It is for you to pass them on. You are going to be the teacher. You are going to be the one who is going to lead uh, your family to obedience. And when they obey you, when they follow you, when they do what they do, uh, well, in any case, whether or not they obey you or not, you are to bless them. And so God has provided the means. And then he says that first in verse 2, that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you, and thou and thy son and thy son's sons all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. You can see here that God is saying that I want you to teach your children for them to also obey. He didn't just say uh, they should just obey. You know, he says that you teach them, keep and teach and instruct them and instruct your children and your children's children. So it is a lifelong uh, obedience. It is something that they will enjoy and it will also help you. It will be a blessing to you. Then he says, therefore, observe and do everything that you have been informed, you have been told, so that you will multiply and increase, and that you will be able to enjoy all the promises, because you are going to be in a place where you will enjoy all the blessings. We, here in the United States, are enjoying great blessings. How much blessings we enjoy, we sometimes even abuse the uh, blessing that we enjoy. Water how we abuse water, how we run water unnecessarily, how we do things that in Africa and other places, they don't have the means to waste <coughs> any water. You know, like uh, I know someone uh, who wants to wash their spoon and they put the, the tap on and just to rinse the spoon, the, 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 uh, it's on. They put the tap on and they just rinse. The spoon has been washed already, but they just rinse, uh, use the tap, water, and it's running. And I look at it, like, how people waste. You know, they want to be healthier than health. How can you, how far can you go? And uh, so, God is saying that all the blessings that is needed, we have to enjoy them because he's going to give us a land flowing with milk and honey. And milk and honey in this case will mean that there will be abundance of things. We have the means to eat any food we want in this country. And so other places, how many times do they eat? And what are the food they eat? They may have just bread and tea and, you know, not much. So uh, we are truly blessed. And so we have to also as we have these blessings, I also want to say this before it goes off, that when we are enjoying all these blessings, let us be praying. Let us make a, a provision that, oh, I think, how about I want to send, if not the food, how about send some money to people in other places in Africa, in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Liberia, in Togo, in uh, places where I know people are so that they can also have some means. If I can't send the food, you know, of course, we have uh, tried to send, uh, you know, if possible, uh, when we ship stuff, rice and stuff that people can eat. Because while they have rice over there, they, it will be expensive for them to uh, do it. So we have to do that. So God has given us the blessings. And so as we continue with this uh, verse, here, O Israel, verse 4, uh, the Lord, our God, in His one. It's something that they all know, God. And then, uh, thou shalt love the Lord thy God. And this is now talking to fathers, and it's also talking about to children, and children's children, that when you, to be able to receive all the four blessings in the proclamation, it means that you have to love the Lord your God and with all your heart. Not half and half, not uh, only when I want, not only on Sundays, not only some days. And you have to love the Lord your God with all thine heart, with all thy soul. So 
it's in your heart. And that's why we always say that obedience has to be in the heart. If you don't obey God in the heart, if you don't love or obey and honor your parents, your father and mother in your heart, and then you haven't done anything. And uh, with all thy soul and with all thy might. In the New Testament, when the Lord Jesus Christ was asked, he also added, with all your mind. So he added that to it. And this was which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. It has to be in your heart. And it is in the heart. That's why we have to teach our children God's words. We have to help them to memorize scriptures. We have to help them to read God's word. We have to let them know what God's word. And verse 7 says, uh, Deuteronomy 6, 7 says, And thou shalt teach them, which means the children, diligently. Not just teach them. Teach them deep, deep. Let it go deep into their heart. Unto thy uh, Diligently unto thy children, and shall talk of them, which means God's word, and obedience to God's word, when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. So all of these are what God says we should do.